Might as well, I'm glad to shop. But today, this is part one of um, oh, I've got a list. Oh, camshaft drive. <laughs> so, um, there are several ways that you can drive your camshafts, and we're just going to basically do a video for each, just talking about the basics, quick videos about how you can drive your camshafts, the pros and cons of each. So, the first one we're going to talk about is the most common one, which is you have a sprocket up here, you have another sprocket here, and you have a chain through it, and then usually you have a chain tensioner here, um, with a spring and a plunger, like so. So, this is basically... Um, you can have a multifaceted chain and all the rest of it, like a duplex ch chain and what have you. Um, some are driven off what you would look like conventional sprockets with uh, circular teeth profiles. Some are driven with basically what look like involute gears. Uh, it just depends what kind of linkages there are in the chain. Uh, the pros and cons for each really aren't that much, it just depends what they want to do. There is the argument of a bit of uh, chain um, slip and all the rest of it, but it just depends what kind of chain they want to use and what that chain is uh, spec for. But there is really no difference between doing it with a sprocket or doing it with an involute gear kind of profile. Um, it just depends what they want to go with, usually it's a cost consideration. Uh, roller chains are generally usually cheaper. Um, but basically you need a tensioner because over time that chair, look at that chair, over time the sprocket is going to wear. So the teeth on the sprocket, if it's an involute or not, the involute chain's uh, teeth gen generally tend to not wear as much. But as your chain wears, because these two are, you know, because the chain is under tension, uh, it starts to wallow out a bit. There is wear. It's usually on one flank because the force has been applied this way So because your chain can wear and rock and move that means that you could possibly slip a chain and go out of timing So a cam chain tensioner basically applies tension to this chain to just keep it at the correct tension So you don't skip a tooth and go out of timing um, the reasons for doing it like this with a sprocket and a chain is that you can obviously you have to have an oil supply because it's a chain um, You don't have to have a direct oil supply, but you do, you know, it's in there. That's the thing It's lubricated and it's all well and good uh, Lubricating it reduces wear slightly. It also reduces the noise because you're covering everything in fluid and it's a nice damping effect so the metal to metal contact isn't as harsh so you don't get as much as a a rattly noise um, and the other thing with this uh, arrangement is that you can stick it anywhere so for the SV it's right in the middle uh, for other engines all sorts of engines it's on the outside you can go middle outside either side depending where you want and all the rest of it um, some chains uh, some bikes have a multiple mix but we'll do that in a separate video um, but that's basically how you do it it's basically you want to get from here to here and you need some way of traversing that distance and a chain is a cheap reliable way of doing it hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit 